The Material Laboratory course, ME241, is held in EIS 12. This course provides students with hands-on experimental methods used to characterize engineering materials and assess their mechanical behavior. Included in this lab is Vickers hardness testing, cold working alloys, phase diagram construction, impact testing, Sharpie testing, and tensile testing. Safety is always the primary concern in the materials laboratory. Each procedure begins with a safety briefing and required personal protective equipment. Safety goggles are required for use of the machines, and safety briefings stress self-awareness to prevent any fingers, hair, or clothes near the machine during operations. Students perform Vickers hardness testing with samples of aluminum, steel, alloy 360, copper, and zirconia. These comparisons allow students to determine differences in the material properties and ultimately characterize the materials. These characterizations are used to select appropriate materials for various applications. The cold working lab allows students to compare mechanical properties with percent cold working of different materials. The cold working lab includes a cold rolling press and Rockwell hardness tester to demonstrate the change in material properties as cold working is applied. Brass and copper specimens are fed into the cold rolling press and the hardness of the samples are tested as the thickness is incrementally decreased. The resulting hardness versus cold work percent is used to characterize the materials for engineering applications. Students construct phase diagrams for a tin lead binary alloy. Students utilize a hot plate to heat a steel crucible containing the tin lead alloy until the alloy is molten. The molten alloy is then allowed to cool and students measure the temperature with a thermocouple and calibrated digital display. The experiment is repeated for various alloy compositions. The temperatures recorded during the cooling are used to construct the phase diagram for the binary alloy and determine the eutectic point. This lab deals with molten metals and use of safety goggles is required for the duration of the lab. The Sharpie test allows students to compare the amount of energy absorbed by a material during fracture. The Sharpie impact test is performed with specimens of low carbon steel, stainless steel, aluminum alloy, brass alloy, copper alloy, and hardwood. The hammer is lifted to a specified height, locked into place, and further secured with a safety latch. Once the latch is released, the hammer swings into the specimen and fractures it. Safety is continuously emphasized during this lab. All participants and observers are required to wear safety glasses. One person is designated to ensure the safety latch is securely applied. Before the arm is released, the position of all observers is accounted for to ensure that they are at a safe distance. The Sharpie test is also used to test materials treated at various temperatures to demonstrate ductile to brittle transition. The procedure is similar to impact testing, stressing all the same safety points. Students use an Instron 3385H tensile tester to perform tensile testing on cold work steel and aluminum alloy specimens. As a load is applied to the specimen, the force displacement is measured as well as the cross-sectional reduction. This data is used to plot the force displacement and engineering stress strain curves. Based on the measurements, mechanical properties such as Young's modulus, tensile strength, yield strength, toughness, and ductility are determined. Students use the results of the experiment to select materials for various engineering applications.